This is the brand new version of the OpenMove headset that they sent me. And by the way, thanks to Shox for sending me the headsets. This is the OpenMove. So, so key features about the OpenMove is they have about six hour battery life. They do not have a microphone on them. They're purely designed to listen to music. And these are bone conduction headsets. So what you get in the box is a uh, nice little carry pouch. Could have used a magnetic snapshot, doesn't. I like the ones that have the magnetic snapshot. Then you've got the charging cord. Can rip that open there? USB-C. I always like USB-C. You put it on like this, goes over the ears. I'm trying to see if there's any design difference between these two. So this is the new one. This is how it sits over the ears. And this is the old one from after shocks, before they rebanded the shocks. I'm trying to see if there's any difference between the models other than the brand name or the identical. They are absolutely identical. The old open move versus the new one. The only difference is it says shocks instead of aftershocks. So it's just a rebranding. Open move. So I've used this headset a lot, actually. I use it for walks. I used it when I was on my Yasuda indoor cycling bike. So particularly what open bone conduction uh, earbuds are good for or headphones are good for is podcasts, audiobooks, or music that's in the mid-range to high-range frequencies. Where they suffer a little bit is when you start getting into very heavy bass, like metal music, like dubstep, like electronica that has a lot of bass. Uh, for some reason, I guess bass frequencies don't travel through the bones as well as higher frequencies. So I, they're really, really good, and I listen to audiobooks a lot and podcasts, and the spoken words come through very clear. Gets a little muddy when it comes to lower deep bass frequencies. But as I was talking about the benefits of bone conduction, open ear headsets, is one huge advantage is the fact that you don't have your ears completely blocked to where you can't hear what's going on around you. Being able to have my ears open to hear if a car is coming up behind me or tires are near me or there's an emergency siren or something, it's really good to be able to hear what's going on around you. Or maybe I'm just in the other room and somebody's not feeling well and calls out to me, I have to get something. Better to have my ears open. This allows me to hear when people need me and I can still enjoy what I'm listening to without drowning out the world. Now, sometimes you do want to drown out the world and you sacrifice a little bit of music fidelity. When I was at the airport traveling to Chicago, I wore these and I used up all six hours worth of battery life. And by the way, it went up to about five and a half hours battery life. So I would say it really depends on how much um, vibration intensity your music has and what you're listening to. So I got about five and a half hours, close to the six hours, but wasn't quite six hours. But being at an airport where they change your flight number, your gate number, or information, you can hear all that while you're listening to music. So it's really important to have these, and I consider them great for travel, great for when you're in airports. If you need to hear potential announcements, they're excellent while you can still listen to your music. So really, really like these. Again, these are the Shocks Open Move, same as the old Aftershocks Open Move. They just rebranded their Shocks now. The other thing that's really cool that I forgot to call out is to prevent them from staying like this all the time, when they touch, they magnetically grab onto each other. So it makes them easier to hang. You don't have to worry about them getting stretched out or, or like that. They just want to naturally grab and hang onto each other and magnetically grab onto each other. So that's kind of a cool feature too. They're bone conduction headsets, so they will drive the sound. They'll vibrate and drive the sound, which will be picked up by your bones near your ear. And it makes you hear it as if it's in your ear canal. 